am Per Eriksson. So here we are in Sweden uh, and we're here to meet some of the best chefs in the Nordic kitchen. As you all can see, I'm driving an Audi e-tron, an old electric car. Audi and uh, some of the best chefs in the world, they are focusing on innovation, design and sustainability. Let's meet some of the best chefs in Sweden and hear about their style of cooking. And we're here to meet with the chefs, Stefan Karlsson and Martin Moses. And we're here to hear about their traditional way of taking care of the produce and products from the neighborhood around Gothenburg. If you were to explain for somebody that never ever tasted the food here about your style of cooking, what would you say? I would say that we are, we are a modern Nordic kitchen, Nordic restaurant with high flavors. Every dish is a, is a complete dish itself. So we don't do like sample menus, that, but, that, but every dish can be eaten on its own. How did it all start? Why did you start the restaurant together? Um, the whole idea was, I have another restaurant before, and we feel that we were ready with that one. We want to make something new, so we closed it. It was still fully booked, but we closed it and I bring Martin with me down here. So this was his first head chef. So Martin, what was the trigger? Why work together with Stefan? I mean, we, we know each other pretty well since before, and uh, so we work together very, very good. And, but we wanted to do something new, something more, more uh, personal, more uh, easygoing and more, more uh, uh, traditional and then than we did before. So Stefan, uh, if you place yourself on the food map so to speak, uh, what kind of restaurant are you? It's a quite simple restaurant but with very high flavors. The ingredients and the flavors is most important for us. We, we act and work very local. We, as Martin told you before, we were out picking flowers, elderberry flowers to make some syrup for the sorbet. So we try to find things around us and we take our flavors from the Swedish culture of uh, perceiving and how they make the food in the old times and try to make it a little bit more modern. So I think we have it with us, the flavors from grandma and mother. To be able to create uh, the dishes that you are talking about, uh, where do you find uh, the right produce or products to be able to do that? Almost everything we find in, in our uh, neighborhood, so we only buy from local suppliers. So it's, and we change the menu on a, not a weekly basis, but every second week we change at least one or two dishes uh, just because of the seasons. So uh, the produce and products from this area around Gothenburg, how would you define them? What's so special about the... I mean, the, the fish and shellfish here is the best. We, we, we have a supplier in the, in the, at the fish market who, who they deliver daily to us and they get fresh fresh shellfish and fish uh, langoustines uh, every day. For one example, we, we normally serve Swedish uh, squid, which, which is quite, quite unusual. Uh, so all the guests are quite fascinate, fascinated about that. Uh, and it's a lot milder, not so rough in the texture as the, the one you're used to from, from down south. Being this traditional uh, fine dining restaurants that you are talking about, at the same time, I guess you have to be inventive and find new ways and new triggers to bring new guests in. What's your thinking around that? We need to have good farmers who can supply us with the things we're looking for. And we try to look after old-fashioned Swedish ingredients. They have stopped to farm it, but they start again if we ask them. So we, you have to have a connection with, with the producers and the farmers to, to help us to find a way to serve, to have the ingredients to serve the food we want to serve. 
So we have uh, one lady up north of Göteborg, she grows our herbs and salads and everything. And she has going back and find seeds from old fashioned Swedish vegetables so she can supply us with them. Being a traditional uh, fine dining restaurant, I must say it uh, looks uh, like a fantastic uh, setting you have here. Thank uh, you. Nice designs. How do you create this uh, 360 degree gastronomic full-fledged experience with the food and with the interior and the design? The idea when we, we started to talk about this restaurant many years ago was that we wanted to make something local, as we said about the ingredients and everything. So the environments here, we wanted to have it a little bit the boy also. It's quite, everything is quite simple. All the furniture is made for the restaurants from old Swedish furniture, we have to take inspiration from them and try to make our own. So the lamps, the floor, the walls, everything is special made for the restaurant to, to have this simple feeling of being in someone's house or whatever. And the most important thing for us is the kitchen because the, it, together with the, the, the wine and everything, it's very important with the food because people come to eat. So we take all the walls away in the kitchen. So we have a totally 100% open kitchen. And, and the chefs uh, in the kitchen is a part of the dinner also because they serve like 70, 80% of all the plates with food. They're going out to the guests with the food and they can explain it, they can talk about the farmer or whatever we are proud of on the plate to tell them what the story around it. So that's the whole idea to, to act local again. Many of the top chefs around in the world are focusing on the concept of a no waste kitchen or farm to fork eating. What's your take on that? We are certified the Swedish way in a, for sustainability. We try only to work with local products in season, so we buy from local suppliers, like we said before. And we try to use the whole, of course, we try to use the whole, both of economic reasons and for flavor reasons. We, we try to use the whole vegetables or the whole meat or the whole fish. We serve a lot of langoustine and uh, on that we do, we normally do, we do oil on the, on the claws, we do a, a stock on the, on the heads and we, we eat the tail. And then we, maybe we dry the shells for a powder so that we add on, so we, we use the whole the whole langoustine for, for, for the, maybe not the same dish, but we save some of the parts for later on. Now you got a really good concept uh, around your restaurant. Uh, you, you got your Michelin star uh, that is always packed with people here. Uh, you got two uh, places to sit here. Uh, it looked like a fabulous place. Uh, you have your uh, sustainability thinking in place. Where will you go from now? I don't know. <laughs> Just kidding. No, nah, but. It's still always happen things. We, we, our farmers find new things to, to grow for us and we, we find new flavors. We travel a lot and if you go to China you can find something really interesting in flavors or consistences and then you can bring it home and try to make it with Swedish ingredients and Swedish flavors instead. So it's, it's still always something new on the way. As you know, uh, around the world there's always new concept, how you cook the food, uh, counter dinner or uh, open kitchen or uh, new things coming all the time. What's your take on that? You just have to focus on the ingredients and I think all the guests, at least all guests here, they want to meet the guys behind. They want to meet us as chefs, they want to talk, how, how, how have you prepared this, how is, it, how is it grown, where is it grown, how old is the cow. So I think it's, it's getting more and more important in Sweden to show, to, to know the background of everything. As you know, uh, there's also a trend uh, in the food world uh, going towards more veg vegetarian food. Uh, some restaurants have even stopped serving meat and fish and uh, are focusing only on vegetables. What's your take on that? We try to use less protein on the plate and we, all, we always have a vegan and a vegetarian menu prepared. Uh, we always have at least one or two vegetarian dishes on, on, uh, on the menu. Uh, if you were to give an advice to a young person uh, that wants to become a chef, how would that be? Uh, learn your basics and work hard. To have a holistic view of the whole business.